Hello students. This is a lecture on solution of Lagrange's PDE. In this, we will be trying to solve a few more examples on choosing multipliers for solving Lagrange's PDE. Now, this given PDE is not in the standard form of PP plus QQ equal to R. So, we have to rearrange this to get x into x plus y into p minus y into x plus y into q equal to minus 2x plus 2y plus z into x minus y. Now this is the standard form of the PDE. So we can write the auxiliary equation which is given by dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So we get dx by x into x plus y equal to dy by minus y into x plus y. So we can cancel out x plus y and this result is dx by x equal to dy by minus y. So we can integrate this to get log x equal to log y plus this should be a minus log y plus for convenience we can choose constant as log c1. So log x equal to minus log of c1 by y or x equal to c1 by y so we get x y equal to c1 so we choose u as x y now we need to choose multipliers such that we can get one more solution so if we choose dx plus dy if we choose 1 1 0 we get dx plus dy divided by x into x plus y minus y into x plus y which simplifies to dx plus dy divided by x minus y into x plus y. Now this also gives us an idea wherein we can make use of 1, 1 and 1 because there is x minus y common in this as well as here. So this will result in dx plus dy plus dz divided by x into x plus y minus y into x plus y minus 2x plus 2y plus z into x minus y. This will simplify to in the first two terms we can take these two common. So we have x plus y into x minus y minus 2x plus 2y plus z into x minus y. Now we can choose x minus y common and this results in x minus y into x plus y. Now this minus can be taken inside. So minus 2x minus 2y minus z. Choosing 1 1 1 resulted in dx plus dy plus dz divided by x minus y into minus x 
minus y minus z that is dx plus dy plus dz divided by minus x minus y into x plus y plus z what we see here is if we leave out this x minus y we have df by f form here now if we combine that with this dx plus dy divided by x minus y into x plus y we can get the second pair for solving v so x minus y gets eliminated and we are left with now these two are df by f forms so the left hand side gives us log of x plus y equal to minus log x plus y plus z plus log c2 the right hand side simplifies to log c2 divided by x plus y plus z so we have x plus y equal to c2 by x plus y plus z so we can choose v equal to x plus y into x plus y plus z so we have found u equal to xy v equal to x plus y into x plus y plus z since the solution of the pde is f of uv equal to 0 we write f of xy comma x plus y into x plus y plus z equal to 0 which is the solution of the pde given here in the second problem i'll be solving this particular pde because it is in the standard form the auxiliary equation is given by equation 1 now we find certain common terms in the denominator therefore we choose 1 and minus 1 if i choose 1 and minus 1 i can eliminate x squared minus y squared so 1 minus 1 0 results in dx minus dy divided by x squared minus y squared minus yz minus x squared minus y squared minus xz which simplifies to dx minus dy by minus yz plus xz which is dx minus dy divided by x minus y into z here denominator of 2 and 1 are the same therefore we can pair them to solve the pde the denominator gets eliminated here and results in which is in the integrable form integration will give us or x minus y minus z equal to c1 again if you look at the auxiliary equation we have yz in the first term in denominator and xz in the second term in the denominator so if we choose x y 
comma zero we will be making the term the third term in the denominator of dx and dy the same so the subtraction will give uh, get us eliminate will get that eliminated so we need to choose x and minus y so we get x dx minus y dy divided by so we have chosen x and minus y and 0 so x dx minus y dy divided by x into x squared minus y squared minus x y z minus y into x squared minus y squared sorry this should be so this becomes plus x y z so these two gets cancelled and we are left with x dx minus y dy in the first and the third term in denominator x squared minus y squared is common so we have x squared minus y squared into x minus y now if we leave out x minus y the remaining terms are almost in the integrable form except for the factor 2 so we will choose this is 3 so this x minus y is a common factor with the dz in the auxiliary equation so we can combine x dx minus y dy divided by x squared minus y squared into x minus y with dz by z into x minus y simplifying this get we get x dx minus y dy divided by x squared minus y squared equal to dz by z which is almost in the integrable form except that the derivative of x squared minus y squared is 2x dx minus y dy so we multiply throughout with both sides with 2 so we get 2x dx minus 2y dy divided by x squared minus y squared equal to 2 times dz by z now this is in the integrable form so integrating this we get log of x squared minus y squared equal to 2 times log z plus log c2 the right hand side simplifies to log z squared plus log c2 which is log z squared c2 so we can eliminate the log and write it as so we have v equal to which is c2 this is v and u is x minus y minus z now f of u v equal to 0 is the complete solution therefore we have f of x minus y minus z comma x squared minus y squared by z squared equal to 0 as the solution of this pde if there are any doubts please contact me on the whatsapp number thank you